Hi there. My name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and this is Voltage Modular, a software synthesizer by Cherry Audio. One of my favorite things to do with a modular synthesizer is to take the output of an oscillator, put it into a voltage-controlled filter, and then modulate the cutoff frequency of that voltage-controlled filter at an audio rate to see what kind of sonic mayhem I can create. But let's begin by modulating with a low frequency oscillator so we won't have too much sonic mayhem. So let me start with no modulation. So we'll set the modulation to zero and then gradually increase the amount of modulation. And now let me increase the frequency of the modulation. So I'm modulating it with this ramp VCO. At some point you don't hear the individual oscillations of the LFO. And you get something kind of crazy. But now let's crank that a bit further. Oh wait, that sounds like an LFO again. So what's going on here? Now instead of an LFO, let's run this at an audio rate. That sounds like an LFO. And depending on how I set this frequency here, I either get a ramp going up or I can get a ramp going down. And if I set it just right, I get something awfully close to a constant effect. So what's going on there? So this is an illustration of an effect called aliasing. Basically, the modulation input of the filter is being sampled at a rate that is too slow to capture all the variation at audio frequencies coming out of the LFO, and the information is getting aliased to a lower frequency. And when the direction changes, so let's listen to that again. So here, there's a ramp going up. When you hear the ramp going down, that's a particular kind of aliasing called folding. Now, I want to make it clear that this is not a complaint against voltage modular. There's a good reason that this particular module is doing this, which is they assume people want to modulate the cutoff frequency at a relatively low rate. And by sampling it at a slower rate, they're able to save on computational complexity. Because for each sample that comes in here, the code has to recompute all of the filter coefficients. Now you can download additional packs containing various modules, and there's even a whole marketplace you can go buy modules. So if you do want to be able to modulate the filter at audio rates, there's probably a module that can handle that out there. And if not, there's the ability to write your own, which is actually what put Voltage Modular on my radar screen to begin with. And you can get started with Voltage Modular and Voltage Module Designer for free.